the conflict in Syria that is now being called a civil war. There was more bloodshed and killing in Syria today. The newest massacre in Syria. Well, bullets and body bags may lead news headlines on Syria, but death is not the only toll of this war. Ordinary citizens who haven't picked sides in this conflict now live in daily fear for their lives. And now they're also paying dearly with their livelihoods. Prices for food, fuel, everything are very high. We're undergoing a crisis. The war is turning life into a hard crisis. Now, Syria's currency has lost more than half of its value since the fighting began. It used to cost about 47 Syrian pounds to buy one U.S. dollar before the war, 100 pounds to the dollar one year later. This inflation, unfortunately, is only set to get worse, with the government now printing more cash just to stay afloat. Now, oil was once a pillar of Syria's economy, but an EU embargo has cut revenues for the government by nearly one third. Now, those sanctions may have been aimed at the government, but of course it is ordinary Syrians who are now paying at the pump. 4,000 pounds, that's about $60, used to be enough for a month, but now you need twice as much. Gas is impossible to find. I spent hours waiting for petrol. And it's not just fuel for cars that's difficult to come by. A single tank of cooking gas can now eat up about half of the average Syrian's monthly paycheck. I mean, that's huge. And with shortages spreading across the country, even those supplies aren't guaranteed. I've been here waiting for a week and still haven't got cooking fuel. We want to live. We want to eat. But we have no gas. This is how we have to live. There's no other choice. Now, according to the United Nations, more than 1.4 million Syrians are already at risk for hunger. And those who still have access to food are finding that prices are soaring out of their reach. Now, let me show you what I mean when it comes to the average Syrian. A carton of eggs used to cost about 110 Syrian pounds before the war. After the uprising, that amount of money is enough for just two eggs. Now, take sugar, for example. The price of a bag like this has tripled in cost. The amount of money one used to spend on it will now buy you about this amount. And even staple foods like rice. I mean, this is a really common food in Syria, probably enough to feed a small family for about a week. A bag like this has doubled in cost. Now, when it comes to the Arab Spring, the cost of food and fuel has played a critical role. As prices rose, so did anger in Arab nations. The same holds true in Syria, where simply surviving and making ends meet is now a daily battle. In the end, the price of bread may prove to be a bigger obstacle to peace than a loaded gun. For RT, I'm Lucy Kafanov in Moscow.